Hello my creative friends, thanks for joining me. I'm just gonna do a, a quick little walkthrough of this project that I had. Sorry, my camera's jiggling. Anyway, I, um, I found this great little recipe book binder at a thrift store and I just thought it was so cute, so vintagey. It was in really good shape, <clears throat> excuse me, and I thought it would go perfectly with the Home Sweet Home collection. So, um, I brought it home and I decorated it up a bit on the cover. So I've just got some of the ephemera cards and I fussy cut these beautiful, um, I think they're hollyhocks out there. Um, also, I have this kind of colander charm. I don't know if you can see that in the chipboard. And I adhered all of that with a matte medium. <clears throat> so it's very um, protected there. So the book itself, it came with these dividers. I think there's 10 of them, like breads and pastries and desserts and drinks and all these things. So it came with each of these. And it also came with an envelope here. And this uh, cardstock kind of paper, you can see it's quite colored, so it's quite vintage. And then it also came with some loose leaf paper for writing your recipes on. So what I did is I, I pretty much just decorated it up and kind of used the same sequence for each tab. Um, I left the, the inside front and back cover because I just thought they were really cool with their information. Um, all I did was add a sticker right here and the reason I did that was because someone had written their name here and it wasn't actually even legible so I just covered that up with the sticker. So I'll just show you what I did. So these pages actually were quite um, thin, they're quite flimsy paper. So it actually sturdied it up quite a bit when I added the pattern paper, which was I was quite pleased with. So I just added pattern paper to the back side of each tab sheet and also to this side of the envelope and the envelope um, flap as well. And then I just used all the different sort of ephem ephemera cards chipboard stickers, everything that came in the deluxe um, collect, the deluxe collector's edition of the Home Sweet Home, the Graphic 45, because it's just so beautiful. And then on this page, I just did something really simple, um, and there's still room to write your recipes. And of course, each envelope, you can put in these great recipe cards that come with the pattern paper as well. So, that's pretty much all I did and then I just left it like that so you can add your recipes. And it was a lot of fun and it, I loved the vintage book to begin with, but adding these great um, pattern papers from Home Sweet Home just made it that much more fun. So I'll just walk you through sort of each section here. The papers just go together so nicely. There's your lined paper for your recipes. This is dessert section. And I just, on these chipboard pieces, I just added some ribbon just for fun. Also, <clears throat> if you've followed any of my videos before, you know that I am um, I keep everything. I try to use everything <laughs> from my supplies. So this little thing here, I don't know if you can see that, the little tag that says Country Life, that is actually cut um, from the strip along the pattern paper where it describes, this is actually what the name of that piece of pattern paper is, Country Life. That's where the barcode is, etc. And so I just love these little kind of descriptive words. So I save all of those on my pattern papers um, if I think that they might suit what I'm working on. So that's what that is. So this is the drink section. Again, I just love these pattern papers. You just can't go wrong with them. There's another, it says Garden Fresh, so I kept that as well. And this is just the stickers and chipboard and some of the um, border strips.
what I love about this is it's just so fun to sort of bring back to life something that started out great this little recipe book but maybe it's just a little out of date or whatever but to bring it back to life with these great papers and to make it usable again is sort of my my goal And then the last section, vegetables. And there you have it. Super simple, but um, kind of a repurposed project and bringing back to life something that was great in its day and even better now. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that um, you can take advantage of that and create something similar with this great collection, The Home Sweet Home and have a wonderful day creating. Bye friends.